Let's look at the impact and the benefit of eliminating unnecessary logic within a schedule. Very often when running a schedule critique, focus is given to identifying and resolving missing logic, or what we call open-ended logic. Well, in a similar manner, identifying and resolving, and more importantly, eliminating what we call redundant logic is equally important. Let's take an example where we have three activities in sequence, A, B, and C. B is linked to A, C is linked to B. All three activities are in a standard finish to start sequence. If we take an example whereby in addition to those two logic links joining the three activities together, there is actually a fourth link linking A to C. In reality, that A to C link is actually redundant. The reason why it's redundant is there is already driving logic going from A through B to C. So in reality, in our schedule, we can actually afford to remove that fourth link, that A to C link, and still uphold the integrity of our schedule. With the introduction of more collaborative scheduling tools, this whole issue of logic redundancy and overcomplexity and unnecessary logic is becoming more of a challenge. It makes schedules harder to understand, it makes them more complicated, it even has a, a negative effect on the likes of risk analysis. So the ability to remove this redundancy is very, very useful. Fuse provides a means of not only identifying redundant logic through the Fuse Redundancy Index, but it also now provides a means of actually removing and cleansing your schedule. Within the Logic Analyzer, if we click on the Redundancy Index button, Fuse will run a logic analysis check on the, in this case, the Primavera schedule, and it will report back not only the count, in other words, the number of redundant links, but it will also give us an indication as to how much of the schedule. In this case, 6% of the logic within my schedule is actually redundant. The view is split into two tables. The table at the top is a list of redundant links. In our example, four redundant links in our schedule. If we take the second of those four, we can see that there is a finish to start relationship starting from an activity called first wave going to civils. The reason why this is redundant is then described and explained below. First wave is actually going to foundation, Foundation, in turn, is then driving civils. Because of this driving logic identified in this bottom table, this redundant link, this first wave to civils link, can actually be removed from our schedule. Talking of removing the redundancy, Fuse also provides a really easy means of cleansing the schedule and removing the redundancy. Through the Schedule Cleanser, I can simply click on Remove Redundant Logic. Fuse will then run an analysis. It will remove those redundant links and create a scenario. By using the forensic analyzer, that scenario can then be examined and as we can see here, we can see the removed logic links relative to the original schedule. As with all logic analysis, logic quality including redundancy can be viewed within the Fuse dashboard. Once happy with the results, the cleanse scenario can be exported back to the native scheduling tool, whether it's Microsoft Project or Primavera.